Today I'm experimenting with a multicolor screen print by printing my new logo on t-shirts. Some versions of these will be for sale on my website soon. I'll talk more about that later. To print in multiple colors, you need a screen for each color, so the first thing I did was burn screens for the white and red parts of my logo. About 45 seconds of noon sun works well to burn the image in the Tennessee summer, but you may need to adjust that depending on your location and time of year. Once the image is burned, you have to rinse out the part of the emulsion that was masked off so the ink can pass through to the screen. This is really easy by letting warm water run over it for about two minutes and then using a direct spray. I like to finish up by using a toothbrush to get any lingering emulsion out of the edges. I placed a plywood cut off inside the shirt to have a flat surface to work on and prevent the ink from bleeding through to the backside. Then I applied the white ink and gave it some time to dry before doing the red ink. On the red screen, I burned two extra letters from the text to help me line the image. I don't want any red ink to go through those, so I just put scotch tape on the back to block the ink. It's a bit hard to tell in the video, but the red did not show up well on the dark or bright shirts. After some research, I discovered that for bright inks to keep their vibrancy on dark or bright shirts, you need a white ink base on the shirt first. That way the material can't absorb the colored ink and dull it. So I burned a new screen that had the entire logo so I could lay down a full white base. But I didn't get a good burn, and the letter K was a bit off. So to fix this without burning a new screen, I just made a mask out of scotch tape and put that on the back of the screen. Don't play with your ink over your shirt or you're going to make a mess. Fortunately, you can erase water-based ink spills pretty easy with just some warm water. I gave the white some time to dry and then came back and put the red over the top. The color came out way better than the first time, but I wasn't able to get everything lined up perfect, so the white bled out from under the red some, so I had this weird outline that I didn't really like. To try to fix the white outline showing up, I decided to undersize the white base a little bit so that way the red would be larger than the white and hopefully wouldn't leave any outlines. I used some screen filler and started by trying to use tape as a mask and then realize that was just going to take too long, so I ended up freehanding this. Now before I start trying to run any productions of shirts, I'm going to burn a new screen. This was just to do proof of concept, and it actually worked out a whole lot better than the first try. It's not perfect, but I'm confident that once I burn a new screen that's properly undersized, I'll be able to get repeatable results that I'll be happy with. Now, the black shirts aren't available on my website yet, just because I'm still working through these issues, but I do have some of the other shirts available on my website. There's a link in the description. You'll also find links to my Instagram and Facebook. That's where I post most often. You can stay up on what I'm doing. Thanks for watching.